Yeah, bleeding the clutch. <laughs> Why do we bleed the clutch? To get the air out. To get the air out, exactly. What's up, guys? Welcome back to yet another episode of Arrow's Garage. Um, in the last video, we got the engine transmission shoehorned in. We cut some holes in the firewall and the floor to make room for stuff like shifters and clutch pedals. Um, today, we are going to make a short video. It's going to be more of a tutorial on how to bleed the clutch system. All right, I could have gone a little higher on the truck, but I wanted my daughter to be able to um, hook stuff up underneath here. So crawl under there and find the clutch line. So here we are. Ah, all right. There's not enough room under here. <laughs> okay. So that yellow clutch line is going to plug into the red yeah. spot over there. Basically, they're both covers to keep dust and, and grime off of them. And uh, so go ahead and take that, take that yellow cap off. Is it gonna be loud? No, it just kind of twists off. Oh. Okay, now reach up in there and take that red cap off up there. Is this one going to be loud? No, neither of them going to be loud. So now take this one and literally push it in there. That's all you do is... This is hard. You push it in. <laughs> Let me see. All right, there you go. So that's all you do on that one. Okay, so what you do is you take the two dust caps off and they literally just pop together, kind of like an airline hose does. Um, now, everything's connected and everything is now full of air because it's all new stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, a bottle of brake fluid on upside down on the master so that we don't run out. We're gonna come over here and in the in the master sil or in the slave cylinder, there is a bleeder nipple. Um, what you want to do is you want to take that bleeder nipple all the way out. You want to wrap it in Teflon. You want to wrap the threads in Teflon uh, because you're going to hook a vacuum line to the outport of that bleeder nipple so that you can just vacuum out all the air as new fluid is being drained in from the top at the same time while somebody's actuating the clutch. Um, you can just sit there and just pump the clutch pedal over and over and over again, and it'll take a long time, uh, but I have found that this is a quick and easy way to do it. Another way that some people do it is they hook a line, same thing, wrap the threads in Teflon, hook a hose up to the end of the bleeder nipple, put it into the bottle of fluid, and then hook your vacuum line up top and suck the fluid upstream out the top of the master cylinder. So that's another way of doing it. So we've got a nice tight seal around there. This will go into our vacuum pump. This is gonna go into the master cylinder. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys, seriously. Don't take anything I'm telling you to heart. Um, so this is gonna go ahead and screw back into our slave cylinder. This is gonna go into our vacuum pump. Um, the reservoir is full. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Normally I just dump a bottle up upside down. However, all I had was a bigger bottle and the cruise control box is in the way so it won't sit up there. Um, so when you are bleeding your system, be very diligent to check your reservoir to make sure that you're not sucking new air down in through the system. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing threaded back in here. This is an 11 millimeter on this particular model. It's a Luke brand. Um, I've had pretty good luck with their products before. I had it on my last Suburban that I converted to a five speed. And uh, yeah, so not sponsored yet. That'd be cool. Hey Luke, if you guys are watching this, you wanna sponsor me, uh, that would be cool. All right, we've got everything hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and crack the bleeder up top. 
and start putting a vacuum on it. All right, I got quite a bit out. I'm gonna go ahead and close this real quick. Go up there and top off my reservoir. All right, again, we're back with the great camera angles. Shot right up my nose. Okay, so we got it back to, back to 20 inches of vacuum. I'm gonna crack it open again. Hopefully this is gonna be the last time. Yeah, we are still getting a lot of air bubbles out of it. So that means it's going to take a while? Uh, not necessarily going to take a while. We're just still drawing air bubbles out of the system. So, <clears throat> filling the reservoir up pretty quick. So we're drawing a lot of, lot of fluid through the system, getting it all drawn out. You just have to repeat this process a few times, um, but that's all it takes to get it bled out. Uh, let me dump this back up in my, <clears throat> in my bottle up top, and we'll get back to it. Okay, so we're gonna pull a vacuum one last time. I barely got any air bubbles the last time. Um, so we're just gonna do one more just for good luck. All right, so we vacuumed out the lines. I'm getting ready to send one of my kids up in the cab to push on the clutch, and we're gonna see if we have any actuating action going on. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a camera in there to see uh, the clutch doing anything uh, but we'll give it a shot so let's go ahead and see if what we did worked and uh, hopefully this is a great tip for you guys uh, if you're trying to bleed this system out all right guys so that's that hopefully this uh, was somewhat educational maybe a little bit entertaining um, thanks for putting up with my poor lighting and bad camera angles uh, so that's how you bleed the clutch system on well it's not the way it is a way um, that's the way I've done it and had success with. As you saw, we had good actuation with the, uh, the slave cylinder disengaging the clutch. Um, was that fun? Yeah. You want to make sure you tell everybody to like and subscribe? <laughs> you can. Why is it so funny for <laughs> all you kids when I tell you to say like and subscribe, you start laughing. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> so please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I can't say it. Subscribe. <laughs> I can't. Anyways, please <laughs> like and subscribe for more goofy videos like this. <laughs> Thank you for your help today. Hope you had fun. <laughs> I did. Alright, good. <laughs> Alright guys, go out there and have a great day.